Okay, guys, this is part three in my series on how to get Half-Life 1 and Gold Source models into Source Filmmaker. And in this video, we're going to talk about QC writing. Okay, so let's get on with it because this is an involved one. If we go back and we have a look at our folders here, Blue Shift, and we go into, we're doing Gordon and the Crowbar out of this one. So let's find Gordon. I should delete all the rest of these because I'm not going to be working with them. So, Gordon. We have a QC that was actually written by Crowbar when we decompiled the model. I have QCs automatically assigned to open in Notepad++ when I double click on them. If you don't, well, I'll show you how we get it to open. We do the, the old file open. Wait for it to hem and haw a bit. Go up to the desktop, find the folder, Blue Shift, Gordon. Find the QC and click open. And this is the actual QC that was written by crowbar when it decompiled the model. Now remember I said something in that session about blended uh, sequences and we'll get into that when we actually go through and we start right, uh, fixing this QC up and get into that section. So the first thing I want to do is I want to tell the QC where I want the model to go and basically we're, where we want it to go is into our user mod folder. I'm going to get another session of Explorer going here. We want it to go into our source filmmaker, game, user mod. It's going to go there anyway because that's what Studio MDL does is it puts it in the mod that is assigned to the actual compile method. So it's going to end up in user mod. We want it to go into models. And models is the first relative folder that Studio MDL looks for. Okay, so it will automatically go to models. Ah, uh, okay. Models and now from there what I need to do is I need to tell it to go from here. So I'm going to pick this up. No, I'm not. From here I want it to go into Blue Shift, Gordon, Gordon. And I think that's the way we name the materials if I remember correctly. Materials, Models, Blue Shift, Gordon. Okay, so I want to follow that particular order in my actual file path. Okay, so what will happen is when this model compiles, it will go to User Mod, it will go to Models. At the next level down will be Blue Shift, and the level after that will be Gordon, and that's where this model will show up. Perfect. Next thing we get are body groups. Now, body groups are, uh, let's say I've got, uh, we'll see it in the CS character when I do the actual uh, CS character. So I'll just leave that as it is right now. But body groups and body and model and things like that uh, commands are pretty much all the same. Body groups allows you to turn on and turn off objects on a body group. In this particular case, um, the head and the, the uh, body are going to be on all the time, so there is no turning it off. This command here, flags, get rid of it. Studio, uh, the Source Filmmaker Studio MDL does not like that particular uh, command. And what we're going to add in its place is a dollar sign CD materials. And this is where we're going to tell 
source or the uh, studio MDL where the materials live so that it builds it into the model and that was material blue shift Gordon so all I have to do is pick up models blue shift Gordon because material is assumed so quotes on quotes off uh, uh, slash off quotes off now one of the biggest problems that people have when they're doing QC's is forgetting to put in uh, the closing quotes and closing curly brackets and things like that okay so basically uh, if you don't do it properly you're going to end up with an error and it's going to end up with an error on line two, 20, 28,942 if you see an error like that, it means that basically you've forgotten to close off something and it's hit an end of file uh, and, uh, type error. Texture groups. This is the materials that this particular model is going to use. Now, if I had different skins for this thing, this is where I would set those texture groups up. Okay, so let's say I had a different suit color for him. I made a different material for a different suit color for him. I would make one texture group, the base texture group, and then start adding texture groups after that. Attachments, we're going to leave those the way they are. C boxes, B boxes, don't really worry about them. Uh, hip boxes, we're going to leave them the way they are because this is the way Crowbar saw those hit boxes. Now controllers, spine 1, spine 2, spine 3, spine 4, don't know if there is actually anything that uh, Studio MDL will do with these. I don't think there is. We can leave them where they are. That brings us down to sequences. Okay, the first sequence that Studio MDL encounters is going to be the spawn sequence. Okay, so sequence look idle, sequence idle. What I think I want to do is I want to switch these two around so that the idle sequence is actually the sequence that is going to play first. Okay, so we've got idle. Now we've got look idle. Now we've got deep idle. We've got a run sequence, walk two-handed sequence, uh, crawl, crouch, long jump, swim, and all of these will be built into the model. That brings us down here to the blended sequences. Like I said in the opening statements, Blender does not like blend, or er, Blender. Uh, Source Filmmaker does not like blended sequences for some strange reason. We know that they work, but we just don't know how to have the compiler compile them properly so that they will not cause errors when we try to compile. What I usually do with blended sequences is just comment them out. And they're going to be things like aim, shoot, shoot, aim, die, simple, uh, you know, things like that. It's things that we can easily animate ourselves. So. You can comment, you can either delete them completely from the QC, or what you can do is you can comment them out if you want to keep the QC intact. Okay. To comment things out, what you can do is you can either add a slash slash at the beginning of each and every individual line that you want to comment out, or you can do a group comment by adding a slash star that means open up a group comment and then scrolling down to where you want to stop that comment and adding a star slash. Now the reason why I stopped there is because this is not a blended sequence, right? So we've got die simple, die backwards, die backwards, one, two, die forward, headshots, die spin, and now we found another blended sequence. So we're going to do a slash star slash star 
and come down through the blended sequences until we find the next single sequence. And it looks okay. There we go. And a star slash. Okay, now we've got back into single sequences again. And the end. This QC is now ready to go. It's ready to rock and roll. Just do a quick check. Going to Blue Shift Gordon. Gordon, body. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Closing, yeah, yeah. First sequence comment. Open to close. Open a comment. Close the comment. Back into doing everything and we're good to go. Now, we can either just save over top of that QC, or we can actually rename it. If you want to keep everything intact the way it was, you would create a new file. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to save over top of it. Save. Done. Now for the crowbar. File open. Up a level. Go into the cr uh, crowbar. Where are you? W crowbar, P crowbar, W crowbar. I think it was. There we go. Open up the QC. This is a very simple, straightforward QC. There's only one an uh, it's animation in it. It's an idle animation. And basically, all we have to do is change this to where we want it to go. And that was blue shift. Uh, crowbar, Crow, uh, W crowbar, and mm, yeah, okay. Got to get rid of the flags. Uh, delete that. Add the CD materials. Dollar sign CD materials. And point to the folder that those materials are in. Quote on, quote uh, slash, quote off. Now this external textures, get rid of it. Because it's not going to use external textures. We've created VMTs and VTFs for this thing. Okay, everything else is good. Save the file, and we're done. Okay, I'm going to go through, and when I get to the uh, actual uh, CS guy, I'll show you the thing on body groups. So I'm going to go into um, time lapse here. Or, no, actually, I'm just going to pause the video. Ah, uh, no, I'll go into time lapse. Okay, here we go. We're back. So here is an example of a body group. 
Okay, so basically what we've got is the body of the gorilla. Okay, so he's uh, formed. There's no other skins for it or no other uh, uh, body groups for it. And then he's got a backpack. Okay, now in CS16, the terrorists and the good guys could carry the bomb, right? So basically the bomb can either be off or it can be on. And that's what body groups do. If you come into a body group and you have a blank character or a blank thing, what it means is that thing is turned off. It can't be seen. Okay. And the next item in is the second body group, right? So it's turned on. All mesh items start with a studio type prefix. So here you can see studio and here you can see studio. Blank itself is just simply that. Now the way that the body group works is that the very first item that it finds then that is the state that that body group is going to be in. So if I turn this around and put the uh, blank underneath the studio like that, the gorilla would spawn with the backpack on. Okay, and then I would use the body group option to turn it off. I want it the other way around the way it was originally. So I'm going to put that back here so that it's off when it first spawns and there we go okay so that's what I wanted to point out in regards to body groups and now I'll go back into time-lapse simply due to the fact that this guy's got a lot of stuff that needs to be changed Okay, there we go. So now we've got the gorilla done up and the QC is written. These are the four models that we're going to import into a source filmmaker. And basically, let's see. As you can see, there's an awful lot of animation here that I've cut out. And these will all be sequences in the model when it's compiled. So I'm going to file save this. And the next step is using Crowbar to compile the models. And so with that, uh, I guess it's time to close off this video. So with that, Private Jack out. <laughs>